Welcome back to Adobe Photoshop CC. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the Magic Wand tool. So uh, the Magic Wand tool has the hotkey of W. If you hover the mouse over it, it'll tell you that. If you hold the mouse down, you'll also have the Quick Selection tool. A lot of people get these two tools confused. Uh, I'll go over the basics here. Quick Selection is great for anything that has sharp and hard edges. So if I actually wanted to click and drag in the landscape here, uh, I could probably select it pretty quickly because it has have sort of sharper edges. So the quick selection tool will do a good job of that. Uh, however, the magic wand tool works based on uh, color and luminance levels. So basically the light and the darks. Um, so as I click here in the sky, you'll see that it pretty much has selected this large area of blue here. Now, uh, this is all based upon this tolerance level of 32 here which is 32 levels of luminance between between the uh, lightest light and the darkest dark. Now you can click anywhere in here and you can kind of see what will happen in terms of selection. That one click pretty much selected everything in the sky here minus the clouds here which did a really good job. So if I wanted to eliminate the sky all I'd have to do is click on this and then add this top selection here. Well how do you do that? Well you can click up here in the add little uh, icon in the options or you can simply add the shift key and then click and voila you now have a nice selection here so if I now clicked on the square circle I would have eliminated the background and not the sky uh, which is not what I want I want to eliminate the other one so I'm gonna hit control Z or command Z to undo that action there's a couple ways to, to uh, inverse your selection you can go select inverse that would do the get the job here um, and then click on the square circle and that would work just fine. I am going to show you another way, which is to actually invert while you're masking. If you hold Alt or Option and click on the square circle, you'll actually invert the selection. So that works also. So here's another, uh, I'll give you some other examples uh, and share magic wand. So the cityscape here, if I wanted to basically click in here, I can get a pretty good selection. If I hold the shift key again, I can add to these additional little sections here. Sometimes you have to zoom in to select these, but you can see here it's doing a pretty decent job. And I'll zoom in here and look around. And sometimes you can't quite tell, like you can see all these little bits of white in here that have a lighter luminance here. Uh, if I hit the Q key, what that'll do is I'll preview the, what's called the quick mask mode. And it'll show you what is selected and what is not selected. So currently I've selected all these sky areas, but notice these little cracks here where the light's coming through, I have not selected. So let's undo that by hitting the Q key again. By the way, you can get in the quick mask mode if I collapse my tools here with this little camera icon. Notice it looks almost the same as the mask icon here. So the quick mask and the uh, mask actually have a lot of relationships with each other, with each other because they work very same. Pretty much you can paint with the quick mask just like you can once you add a mask here. So another thing you can do is you can go to the select menu and choose similar once you have some selection. A lot of times that will get any kind of luminance levels. Look at these little bits here that are similar. However, you will get some areas that you don't want. So let's hit Q again or again click on the little icon here and you can now see what has been selected. So these areas in the building I don't want selected. So I can perhaps use my paintbrush tool again hitting the B key right click and I'm going to choose the hard round brush here and I want the uh, hardness to be 100% and I want my opacity to be 100% and I'm going to hit the D key so I have the default black and white and now if I basically increase the size of my brush I can click and then shift click and eliminate some of this uh, extra stuff that I didn't want selected so it's pretty easy to go through and just wipe out anything you don't want. Like I don't know if that's sky, uh, so I can eliminate that. There's definitely a little area here, a little bit there. Um, I think this little bit here needs to be eliminated. And you could definitely go further and further. For example, in here, you'd have to really zoom in and then make your brush extremely small. And I'm not going to do this entire selection uh, for this tutorial, but you would have to basically go around and basically paint out these little lines here and again I'm just clicking and then holding the shift key to uh, add another point so click here and then hold the shift key click here to basically hide that And once we hit Q you'll see that that uh, selection has been preserved now 
then you would just go ahead and click on the quick mask again it's inverted so I'm gonna hit control Z or command Z so I can always go to the select menu inverse or again do the alter option and click on the mask so again you can see some parts aren't there you can paint the mask and we're and bring it back however it was probably easier to do it in quick mask because you can actually see what was done so I would probably say I would do it in the quick mask mode and then click on the mask let's look at another example here uh, so this clown here again if we use the magic wand if I want to get rid of the sky here if I click in the blue here notice it selects this blue but it doesn't select the dark blue over here that's because of this checkbox here contiguous if we uncheck it by default this usually is checked when I click over here it'll actually add more luminance level selection across here usually it's a division of some sort that little rock bump here uh, removes that so you can add that and play around with it or subtract it so I'm just gonna hold the shift key and click in here and look at that I basically select the entire sky now again I can hold that alter option click here and voila I've gotten a uh, pretty good results uh, you know of masking there's a little bit of artifacts here and there a little bit of cleanup but overall it looks pretty good this last photo here we're gonna actually do in another tutorial but I do want to show you if you have this contiguous checked and you click and then hold the shift key and click uh, it looks like it's pretty good you know if I hit the Q key you go oh, yeah I got the the figure really well but how do we resolve these little areas here? You can see those little areas in the hair. Um, and if we did the select similar, we're gonna have some issues because the luminance level of the skin is very similar to the luminance levels here. I will demonstrate that by doing the select similar. And you will see how much more of the face and the body is selected. So the next tutorial, we'll, we'll kind of figure this out. This is another excellent example to use the wand tool is with flat uses of color. So just as a basic overview, it's great to illuminate uh, skies like this as I hide the mask by holding the shift key uh, or like this and uh, like this. So have fun exploring the magic wand tool. Again, in the next tutorial, we'll discover how to rectify this image here. Until next time, cheers.